are going to be talking about an awesome game. L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir. Yeah. It's, uh... Is it pronounced Noir? You always go Noir. L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir. <laughs> That's not... Anyway. When did it come out? Like, a year ago? Something like yeah, that? a year ago. I think about... So this is like yeah. an old game. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> old buddy. Yeah, old, old buddy. Old game standard. Recently. And it was, like, advertised everywhere. It's just... Yeah, a, it was... I saw it on bus hugely. stops. I saw it advertised... On bus stops, actually, that's all I ever saw. <laughs> you also, but, I saw a lot of online ads for yes, it. I saw a, a couple online. trailers for it, mm -hmm. and it was made by Rockstar Games, the guy, same guys who did Grand Theft Auto and, mm -hmm. and Bully and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, it and actually, so it's really fun because you know I got on on you texted me or I think I saw you emailed me but you got Ellie No Wire. Yeah, so I rented it because. And I thought, oh, I want to go play. And so, can I come over tonight? And yeah. then before she could say no, I, I was, was doing saying, laundry. There was laundry hanging all over my apartment, and then there was. Know, yeah, I brought pizza. Yes, he did. I, was, I wanted a snack. Yeah, and I figured that, that's that's Errol's version of a snack <laughs> is a pizza. I didn't want to eat just chips all night because that's what we ate last time yeah, when we played the Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park game. I just ate chips. Yeah, and after a while, you kind of feel kind of gross. I offered you. I offered you bacon. Yeah, I didn't want to make bacon in your house, and then we all would have just smelled like. That's not a bad thing to smell like no, bacon. No, it's not. No, it's not. You can, I don't know what But I don't want to make you cook bacon. for me. You can you can make bacon next time if you're making like bacon sandwiches or something like that. Then yes, I I'm not one to turn down bacon, but I felt bad. I'm eating all your food. <laughs> this game took what seven years uh, to make. It took them seven years. Seven years it was in development. Yeah. Part of that was kind of like development hell. Like they kept having setbacks and and uh, there's a, actually there's a huge story behind that about like it just it was an awful time I guess to work for the for the company. It's actually it's a really unique game. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't th again it's one of those marketing things where I don't think they were marketing it to the right crowd. Or it's Which, more of an adventure game yes, sometimes than it is. That's why I wanted to do, play it. And I like old old yeah. film noir things. And I love yeah. And so Have you lot, watched a lot like the old black and white? I haven't watched I, I love film noir. I so love what, But you haven't watched any. A lot, not a lot. No. Like one. <laughs> yeah, like one. Which one? <laughs> the the uh, the Maltese Falcon. So that's the only one you've seen, and you love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love I that agree. style. I love good. it when shows yeah. parody the film noir. Like... So you've only really seen a whole whack of parodies and just one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I love them. Yeah. So like you being a fan of that genre, um, I don't know how you felt like about the atmosphere of the game. I thought it was great. Like. Well, the ones I've seen have mostly been about the private detectives. This right. one's focused on two cops. And it's really right. neat. I didn't really know what it was about. I mean, I saw all the ads about, yeah. you know, trying to read the people. Mm -hmm. and But here, you're actually, you start off as like, you know, a low cop. You start off as like a blue blue uniform cop. And then you and... rise to the ranks. Uh, right. And then you become like a detective. And right. Then... Yeah, so the point of the game is you go and you solve. So it's like crimes. an RPG. It's like Fable. Is it? I've never played Fable. I neither have I, I okay, just assume. Then. It's like an RPG where you level, basically. Yeah, so you get, you, you can you rise to ranks, basically. Although, it really, well, first of all, there's an awful lot of swearing here, and, and that's not oh, yeah, a big deal. Is... I just, that was just really funny how much they're constantly swearing in this thing. <laughs> and it was also funny because in the, one of the very first missions, you know, <laughs> you confront somebody, and then he goes, you're not going to get me, and he punches the cop out. You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cop him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. But he was like an innocent guy, <laughs> really. Yeah, so it was yeah. like, why would you suddenly... Is that what they did like, back yes. in the day? Basically, the, the major gimmick of the game is that you interrogate people and they... You have, or, and you have to guess whether they're telling the truth, whether you doubt them, or whether they're flat out lying. And as I said, well, if they're, yeah, if they're telling the truth, they just look straight at you. They're like, oh, yes, yeah, totally I was true. there that night. And they're just stock still. You're like, alright, they're telling the truth. Where it gets difficult is determining whether you doubt them or whether... They're, they're lying. lying. Cause like, if, actually, you missed it. Um, what like sometimes she went make, on and played the game. <laughs> this is the game I wanted to see, and she keeps playing more. Sometimes after they I'm make out. the most hilarious faces. Like they'll just like you'll be like, "Where were you that night?" It's like I was at home. <laughs> <laughs> and then the place is large. The place yeah. is huge. Yeah. And like you, when we drive from one location to the other, it takes forever. And with us driving. <laughs> It takes longer. Well, I suck at driving in the 
Japanese game. These bra. I hope they didn't get our number, Phelps. Anyway, so you, you're supposed to try and figure out if they're lying or not. Right, but it's kind of like, between the two, I, I feel, and I, I, someone told me this afterwards, is that because of the development hell, the original system was supposed to be you decide how you want to approach them, whether it's friendly, uh, oh. aggressive, or calm, um, but they scrapped that. And then just had him approach the one way, and unfortunately, it's always the aggressive way. So if you doubt them, like he'll be like, "Where were you that night?" And they're like, "I was at home." No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to watch, right? Because yeah. I mean, it is really cool. Yeah. But it, the faces are kind of weird. And once again, the Uncanny Valley thing—it almost looks like they—they're all wearing Mission Impossible masks on top of their normal face. Yeah, it's Mission Impossible. <laughs> so they're all talking, and, and their face kind of like looks a bit off. But that's okay, it's not, it's, not that yeah, big they spend I just can't seem to tell anybody apart. All the women look the, women the same. The women look the same. I think they all, and they all look like Sigourney Weaver in my mind. So it's, they only got her to do all the parts or something like that. The actors who did it really well, you can tell, because you just see, when I saw and you can guy, tell good actors, I can tell good you're actors. a good actor. He's gonna keep on with this, <laughs> and I'm... She's good. She's in a play. And, uh, <laughs> you mentioned that last video, Errol. She's in a play. Errol's in a band. Yeah. He sings. He's awesome and he writes awesome music. How does it feel to be complimented now? I'm fine. She's in a play that's coming out. When is it coming out, man? <laughs> they all do a great job acting and everything and, and the stories are, are pretty solid. They're like fun. They're fun to solve. You basically go in, and it is like a point-and-click adventure game. You go in and you look at clues. I looked at a lot of useless bottles. She did. She kept um, on picking up the bottle. <laughs> and look, and, they, and they, they even give hints. I don't see how this pertains to this investigation, but she's still looking at it. But the nice thing is you can turn off the hints if you want it. Like, normally, oh, the hints are on. Normally when you walk around and uh, you feel, like if you're looking for a clue, the controller will vibrate and it'll make a musical noise. Yeah. And that's when you so know it'll like, look down. Amanda walks around, vibrate me! Vibrate <laughs> so me! So like going around with a dowsing rod yes. basically looking for clues. I like, I really like this one. I like the, the atmosphere and I love mm -hmm. the environment. Like it's such a detailed environment. And, and the chief, police chief, is like this old Irish guy, yeah. and he's old, you can tell he's old, and he doesn't seem to, he, 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 like, get off. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? And he has, and he has a real bad accent. He's, he, he's like, what, you know, where would a police station be without an Irish police officer? And it's even worse than this one. And he just talks at you and says that you have to go and it interview the person. British now. Oh, I know, see, so you have a really bad accent. <laughs> now you're going into, like, I, know, I don't know. I suck at all accents, really. Okay. We would, I'd be fun to do, like, you know, some sort of, like, Manda and Errol series where we're cops. <laughs> we would be, we would be the most inept cops. <laughs> that's, that's... Be hitting. You know what? I actually hit a person in the car. You can't kill anybody in this game. That's the oh, other so you thing. did try. You can't. If you're driving in your car, you can't. It's not like Grand Theft Auto where you just run over people. Yeah. If you hit somebody, they'll sort of like bounce off the hood and fall to the ground and get up and just be like, "What the hell?" And then, like, <laughs> and then they go on their way. And then they go on their merry can, way, internally bleeding. You can hit and, people. Uh, you um, people can punch cops, and that's okay yeah. too. Now, if you are looking for like, that's the thing people were saying about this game is like, there's not a lot of action. It is a sort of slower paced game, and if you want action, there are these side missions. Like, if you drive, like that's. If you drive, you can respond to, to things that are happening. Various at, police at, calls. At Fifth and West Main. And they yeah. usually always involve a gun, and it's usually always running after somebody, beating them up, or shooting them, or that's where you get all the shoot 'em up parts of the game. And then you and get like you know, you get points, achievement unlocked. Yeah, you get points. You got. I have a new suit now. You have a new suit. I have a new suit. That's not that brown one. It's not the brown one anymore. Wow, is it a trench coat? No, it's a. It's a pinstriped wow. green and blue suit. So I'm could, you, could you choose different suits? It you could can. Be like, you, oh, you, yeah. un you unlock suits. Wow. So there's one called the Sunset. It's like Farmville. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. It is a really graphic game, too. Like, Oh, it gets more graphic. Yeah. It, it's like, it, there's some naked dead ladies that you have oh. to look at. Like, it's not a game you would for like kids that. at all. What? No. Remember our review? Where I liked ladies? <laughs> you like ladies? <laughs> oh, I didn't know this well, about you, like, Amanda. Remember our review? I'm like, what wow. review? What review Gee. are we talking about? So I really shouldn't be teasing you about men. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, we're talking about Eleanor. So what
would you think of the game? I liked it. No, I didn't like Ellie Noir yeah. because yeah. Um, you get to go around. I, I mean, I, once I started realizing that it is just you, you play missions and you, and then you get to solve things. I mean, yeah. I don't. I would suck at trying to tell if a person's lying because other than looking <laughs> away and not answering questions, you have all these other options. And... There's there's something like some of them are really subtle, and I was I was really worried because. Uh, at one point, we're inter I was interrogating a little girl, and I'm like, oh god, what am I going to say to oh, her? Oh, you, <laughs> you can interrogate her. You know, it's funny, whenever you watch, like, what, what is it, uh, CSI, uh, CSI Miami with... Uh, David Caruso? Yeah, David Caruso, right? Okay. And he talks to every single character the exact same. Whether it be a hardened criminal or a four-year-old child. Where were you in school today, <laughs> yeah. <little> girl? <laughs> At least, I think at one point I called someone like, listen, you old hag, and I was like, <laughs> I talked to this little old lady who owns a boarding house, and she just responds with, oh yes, that's right, she did wear a ring, and I was like, the other thing is that later on in the game, you have like, because uh, it's not always just a matter of finding the suspect, you actually have like sometimes two or three suspects that you have to choose from. And I think you, like, no matter what, it doesn't matter if you got it wrong or not, they're going to get arrested. Oh. So, like, it's just assumed you're right. or But it doesn't always get the result you want. So, for instance, I arrested a guy uh, that I ended up arresting because I knew that the captain would like it. Um, oh, oh. But there was evidence against both guys that could convict them both, but I ended up going with the guy that the captain liked because he's like, great job, you're going to oh, get then a, you can climb like, great that job, ladder. boyo, you're going to get a promotion someday, I don't know. If you ever get a chance to play, if you like um, old film noir like, yeah. kind of stuff, it's a great LA game. Confidential and I have fun. Uh, there's an overarching story that I haven't, you know, uncovered all of yet, but it's it's an engaging story, it's great. Gra it's great graphics, it's a great everybody's game. Everybody's mad at people in this thing, you know? Everyone's everybody's, always mad everybody's at each everybody's other. Everybody's just not happy with oh, anybody. But, so, you know, it almost seems like, you know, Los Angeles is filled with people that are all angry, actually. Imagine there's no, that. Seriously, if there's every, all the cops in the detective division, Yeah. all of them have a bone to pick with everybody else. Everyone has, even people passing you by on the street, sometimes as your reputation goes, you'll hear people say like, hey, that's that cop I saw in the newspaper. I walked by another person, like, shower much, and then they walked <laughs> along, and I'm like, you called me Smelly, yeah, me, oh, a wow. gay character, Smelly. So in other I'm words, it's just like us in real life, I guess. <laughs> Although you seem relatively clean. Relatively. Yeah, you're a good actor. Oh, you should <laughs> not. This is close. This is close. Yes, it's fun if you like old... Uh, Film noir, kind of atmosphere, if you like... Even if you've just seen one, like our friend Manda here. I don't know what we're going to do next. Uh, ask Leaf. Leaf, what are we going to do next? We bother talking to Leaf. I don't know either. He just but... wants cameos. That's it. My name is Errol. I'm still witless and I'm getting out of here. Bye bye. Why are you going now? <laughs> are you busy tonight? I could. We could play. We could finish. You didn't finish your tea.